Welcome, everyone. I so appreciate each and every one of you joining me today. Awesome. Let's do a check in. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slow breath out your mouth. And check in with your inner body. Where are you today? You can either think about the colors that you are, you can either be a green a yellow, a red, or you can be a number. You could be a zero, one, which is like a green, two or a three is a yellow, four and a five are reds. So take a minute to close your eyes or look down, see if you can bring your body to stillness just for a few seconds and check in. Where are you right now? And lift your hand up. And let us know what number, from fist to five, what number are you right now? And bring your hands back down to your lap and open your eyes. Great. Okay. Some of you were ones, some of you were threes, a few fours. So let's see if we can, that's where we are right now. Remember, it's okay to be exactly where you are in the moment some of us might be feeling really tired some of us might be over these masks that are super uncomfortable some of us might be having a really good day and it's okay not to be okay and it's okay to be okay so let's get started today's theme we are talking today about being a good listener hmm we hear that a lot don't we what does it mean to be a good listener Wow. Well, today we're going to really try and break that down a little bit because for me, there's um, there's different ways that we can listen and, and we want to talk about why. Why is it that we are um, are wanting to sharpen that skill? Because listening, listening is a skill and we don't just use it at school. We use it all day long everywhere we go. And so just like when we, um, when we can't use our pencil, what do we do with our pencil? We sharpen it, right? To be able to use it. That's what we need to do with listening. So we need to be able to sharpen our listening skills. So let's start with um, a, a, a quick game. I want you to take your fingers like this, tap them against each other. See if you can listen to them. Bring them up to your ears. Tap them really quickly. Bring it to the other ear. Tap your forehead, see if you can hear it. Awesome. Now, take your hands and I want you to listen to my voice now. Before you were listening to your fingers. Now you have to switch gears and listen to my voice. Take your right hand, place it on your right shoulder. I'm going to actually do the opposite so you guys can see me. Take your left hand, place it on your left shoulder. Take your left hand, place it on your right ear. Take your right hand, place it on top of your head. Take both hands, place them on your belly. And tap your belly. See if you can hear it. Stop. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more of practicing because the only way to get good at something is to practice it, right? The only way to learn something is to give it a try. So we're gonna play a little game and I want you guys to be able to guess the sound. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. We've got a little video to present.
Okay. I stopped at lucky number 13, but if you guys want to play that video and practice a little bit more, that video is in the slide deck. Classrooms. Oh no! You couldn't hear the video? Okay, so Miss Smith's class, um, Miss Smith, definitely look at the slide deck that I sent out. And if um, the video is embedded in the one of the last pages of that slide. Um, so do it another time during your class period. Um, was there anybody else, any other classes? Maybe the teachers could type in. Did any of you hear it? Nathan, could you hear it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Kind of. You could hear it, Nathan? Kind of. Kind of, okay. So how many of you, those that you could hear it, okay, some of you could. How many, how many of you were able to um, guess two, two of those sounds? Raise your hand. Were you able to guess two of those sounds? Okay, good, good, good. All right, put your hands down. How many of you were able to guess four of those sounds? Yeah, I don't know how you got the, the, the salt shaker. That was a tough one to the fly. Those were really hard. Nice work for those of you that did. So here's what we're doing. We just sharpened our brain by trying to guess these different sounds, okay? So here's my challenge for you this week. Maybe work with your classroom and you could bring in some sounds and have the students close your eyes and then you could, you could shake the sound in the back of the room and see if anybody could write down what they think it is. So that's an activity that you guys could do. So what I would love for you um, to talk about right now is why, we, why do we want to do this, right? We're not going to walk around just wondering what sounds are all the time. Why would we be able to use listening? So think about it, and I want you to type in, teachers maybe type into the chat, how could you use listening? Maybe type in, why, what are some um, ways that we could be a good listener? Maybe different places different places or different circumstances. Think about it. When could we be good listeners? Hmm, I'm gonna give you one answer. At school, in the classroom. Yep, Ms. Forsyth, you answered that. Exactly, we could be good listeners at school, right? We could listen to the teacher. What's another one that you could think of? What could we, how could we be a good listener? Hmm, at the library. Whoa, I like that one. That's a great answer. At home, right? You could listen to your parents. Um, at your house, that's right, in nature. Awesome. I heard two red tail hawks. I saw them first out my window today, and then I could hear them. It was really cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the last one that I just read. Anytime someone else is talking, right? When bees are coming to, when, to your family, with your friends. All right, so these are excellent ways that we could be a good listener. So, so as you guys know, second and third grade, it gets to be really tough sometimes. Sometimes at the playground or at lunchtime or during class, right? So there's different things that we could do to be a good listener, right? To sharpen those listening skills. And sometimes though, we, um, we can be good listeners and we're using our wise owl to listen, but sometimes our bulldog takes over and the bulldog just wants to bark all the time. And we get so excited that we wanna talk. It's, it's hard to listen all the time. We get so excited we wanna talk. So. There's some times that we want to be a good friend. So I want to play a video from a friend of mine, a really good friend and um, a second grader. And they did a video about why you'd want to listen. So I want to play that video now. And I'm really hoping that you can, you can hear this video. Because it helps us understand um, the different ways to listen. And I would want you to think about um how you could listen with your shoes with your feet hmm that's the riddle 
And hopefully after listening to this video, you'll have an answer. How can you listen with your feet? Hmm. Because I thought you listened with your ears, but let's listen and see. Hi guys. Hi guys. Miss May and I have Lily Hi. with me today. We are actually at the magic tree, or we call it the magic yeah. tree. It's a big, and gorgeous tree. Down in Eagle. Um, and so we thought it'd be fun to shoot a quick little video for this week's lesson here. Um, this week's lesson is on um, how to be a good friend. And so I thought we would talk about how we can use mindful listening in our friendships and how it is not as simple um, as just listening with our ears, that it, we can actually do so much more to help us really be a good friend. So we're gonna talk about how um, we can listen with our eyes first. Wanna give a little example? Yeah, so... Um, you wanna pretend to be my friend and I'll ask you how sure. you are? Okay, um, so let's say I see Lily maybe outside or on the playground or in school or somewhere. Or and ready yeah. go and i say hi lily how are you oh i'm fine so she says that she's fine but if i'm listening with my eyes i could see that she was slumped over and had a sad face sad face maybe her eyes were a little watery yeah. so even though she says she's fine you know if i'm listening not only with my ears but with my eyes maybe i could see that there's something else going on and i could ask her about it so that's one way um, another thing is that if we listen with our heart yeah and that is remember what that is so if you're talking to a friend it's just what showing them what um how you care how you care and respect being yeah. respectful and not teasing them or yeah. or anything or for saying oh that's so funny yeah so it's just being respectful to what they're telling you and then the last is um listening with your shoes what <laughs> so listening with your shoes is just a funny way i was hoping that would get your attention of remembering the saying putting yourself in other people's shoes oh i think i heard that in a movie i don't know what it's called what probably it? well it's a really famous saying of like oh put yourself in someone else's shoes mm -hmm. and that's basically just trying to remember a time that um maybe you were in the same position or felt the same way as them and then you can relate it's also um the fancy word for it is called empathy um, there's lots of great videos mm -hmm. on empathy out there. Uh, so it's listening with your shoes or actually just practicing empathy. But I hope you guys have a great week. Try this out. I know, um, you know, it's not like we can be with all of our friends right now, but maybe you could even do this when you're FaceTiming with your friends or if you see them out riding a bike or maybe even practice with your siblings. Huh? Yeah, like if you have an older sibling, maybe a or younger, a anyone. Younger. This is good to do for anyone, right? Yeah, but make sure that a younger is understand what you're saying. That's true, huh, <laughs> if you have a younger sibling. Yeah. Have a great week, guys. Be kind. Bye. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is have your teachers type into the chat the different ways that you could listen. What did Miss May and Miss Lily talk about Miss May and Lily, they were talking about three different ways that you could listen in that video. Hmm. With your eyes, that's right. With your eyes, you could see. With your heart, you can listen with your heart. And with your feet, what does it mean? to listen with your feet. I didn't think your feet had ears. What does it mean? And there's a big fancy word that I'm looking for right now. It starts with an E. Eating, 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 empathy. Empathy, that's it. You can be a good listener by listening with your feet because you step in someone else's shoes and you're walking around in their shoes to see you kind of like try on their their life for a while and you walk around in their shoes to see what their life is like and you know what 
that is the best type of listening. You might not understand it. I am a lot older than you, and it's really hard these days to understand why people do what they do, why people say what they say. But the more we can step in someone else's shoes and be empathetic um, and practice that empathy, um, we might we have a better chance of listening to understand. And so there's three things I want to leave you with, three tools. So they talked about listening with your eyes and your heart and your feet. I want you to think of these three things to be able to do that. All right, the first, they all start with B. So hopefully you'll remember. One, your body. Okay, so how do we do that? We sit up straight. So everyone take their body and slouch. Be a lazy body. Be a lazy body. Do you feel like you're a good listener right now? Okay, now put on a mindful body. Sit up straight, your head's up tall. Maybe you could become a better listener this way. So I know when there's remote learners, like when my kids are learning remotely, sometimes they're slumped in their beds. I say, up and at them, get out of your bed and sit up straight and you can listen better. Okay. Also, being able to listen to your friends. Does this look like I'm a good listener? No, right? Mm -mm. So maybe unfolding your arms, facing the speaker, right? That's a good way to listen to the speaker. All right, number two, your breath. Everyone cup their hands. We did this a few weeks ago, but this allows us to be able to listen. We're going to try maybe 30 seconds of ocean breath. So make sure there's no spaces in between your hands. Everyone show me your hands. Show me your hands. Wiggle them out. Wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Now freeze, put them together, and make little cups. And we're going to do this, and we're going to breathe. It's called ocean breath. And we're going to listen to our own breath. Okay, ready? Place them over your ears, and then breathe in and out deeply through your nose. Ready? Let me see your hands. Nice job. So that's a good way to maybe tune back in. If you feel like you're starting to get frustrated, you can listen to your own breath. And then maybe think, well, that other person has their own breath too. So it's just a good reminder to be empathetic. And the last one, be curious. Be curious. Ask the other person questions about themselves. And that shows that you're a really good listener. Instead of queuing up what you're going to say and getting all excited about you sharing, to be a good friend, you're going to listen to them and ask them questions. So your body, your breath, and being curious, right? Those three things help us listen with our eyes, our heart, and our feet. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. And I'm going to put in the chat, I'm going to put in um, the video, both of these videos, if you do not have time to, um, let's see, if you do not have time to check the slide deck, I'm going to put both of these videos into the, the chat so that you can watch these at a later date. So that's the one about listening with your feet. And then guess the sound. I'm going to put that on there too. I'm going to put it in there. So then you can do this afterwards or you can do it another time. Okay? So those are both in the chat. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. It's always such a pleasure to have you with us. Bye. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.